Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I'm just setting up chat on my iPad because it's hard for me to see chat. Um, it's hard for me to see chat on my laptop. So I just want to sign in and bring this up and hopefully we'll have enough battery power. Um, let me go to my channel. Bear with me. Because my iPad does not want to charge and it's only at 17%. So this might be a very short stream because nothing is happening when I plug it in. Oh, it's unplugged at the base. Let's try this again. Because whether or not I can stream is going to depend on what happens. Okay, so it's not charging. So we're just going to be here until the battery runs out on my iPad. Hi, Jess. Welcome. Hi, Kat. Hi, Kim. Welcome. I'm so sorry to be streaming when someone else is streaming because um, I'm not feeling that good, good today. Not at all. And I, I really, really wanted to open this box on camera. Samantha Vernon, one of my reading friends is here. Welcome, Sam. Welcome, welcome. Everybody, her, this is Samantha Vernon. Not only is she a reading friend of mine, but she's a jigsaw puzzle buddy of mine. And I found out that she diamond paints. So welcome, Sam, Samantha Vernon, everybody. Hey, Kim, I'm here. Um, let me tell you really quickly. First of all, I've been waiting for about a week or so for this package. Secondly, it's two days later than the post office promised it. Thirdly, my husband woke me up to tell me that it was coming today. I mean, that it had arrived. Number five, my blood sugar was low. And number six, when I tried to eat, my esophagus locked up. So this was a total fail today to stream. But I'm determined to open this package, even if we're only here for 15 minutes, but maybe we'll be here longer. So that's my uh, conglomerate of issues that I'm having today. I've got some emotional issues happening too, but this box, I have to open it right now, this minute. Okay, I'm getting a bunch of Instagram messages and those Instagram messages are playing into why I'm upset right now. So I'm going to act like those messages aren't coming. So what I did do is um, Kim, this is from Kim T, one of our moderators. And she packaged it up really, really well with a lot of tape to protect it in shipping. So what I did is um, I took all of the tape off so that that wouldn't be, I wouldn't be bumping into the camera while I did this unboxing. Other than that, what you see is what I see. I haven't opened it, I haven't touched it, and let's do it right now. Jess says it's gonna make me feel better, so, and Kim says she hopes I like it. I'm, I'm gonna love it based on one thing, Kim, it comes from your heart. When someone gifts from the heart, that's the most precious gift of all. So without further ado, let's move. Oh, my word. OK. I'm going to move the box out the way and talk about what's on top. Look at this yarn. I haven't even had a chance to tell Kim something. So I'll tell everybody while I tell Kim. Kim, guess what? I joined a crochet club yesterday and I have an Afghan kit coming next week. I'm going to start crocheting and you sent me yarn. Is this gorgeous or is this gorgeous? Kim has no idea that uh, I've talked about wanting to crochet. I've talked about it, but I haven't done anything about it. So just yesterday I joined a club and now I get yarn. Now tell me, is that freaky or is that freaky? So this is gorgeous. I don't know. I have to refresh myself with uh, with stitching, you know, like with single and double crochet, triple crochet, and things of that nature. But 
I'm going to do something um, for my new granddaughter with this. Thank you so much. Love you, girl. I cannot wait to make something for Olivia. That's my new granddaughter. She's a month old. Her name is Olivia. And this Kim thought about Olivia. Thank you so much, Kim. So that gets put to the side. Okay. I'm going to take things out one at a time. These are the Arteza watercolor pencils. And I want to tell you why Kim so lovingly gave me these pencils. Okay. I was on a live stream and I said, I wanted to buy the Albert Dura watercolor pencils. And I get a video chat in the middle of watching that other live stream saying, Robin, don't buy them. I have something I can send you. So look what Kim sent me. Look at these watercolor pencils from Arteza. Is it Arteza? Okay, we have that row. Let's put it, keep it in frame. Oh, these are so pretty. We have this row. And we have the bottom one, 72 gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous colors. Can you see all of them? Okay, so yes, I have a lump in my throat, guys. I have a lump in my throat. Oh my goodness, you crochet, Samantha. Okay, you know I'm going to be touching base with you, Samantha, because I haven't crocheted since I was 18 years old and I am 59. I was 60 next month. So I have not crocheted for over 40 years, but I'm determined to learn, to relearn how to do it this winter. And now I have new yarn to make something for my granddaughter. And guess who's going to help me? Samantha Vernon. Yay. Cat. Yes. Aren't these colors gorgeous? Oh, my gosh. I can't wait to figure them out. Oh, thank you, Kim. Thank you so much. I have a case for these already, guys. I have a case. The reason I have the case is because I was going to buy a different brand of pencils that Dick Blick kept saying they're out of stock. And I bought the case and I ended up getting my money back. I am so excited to have these expert watercolor blendable acid free Arteza pencils. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, now I have so much stuff out. Oh no, sir, guys, guys, look. Four more skeins. This is going to be a baby afghan. Oh, my God. I don't know even know how I'm going to do it. I don't know what to do, but I'm going to figure it out. Kim, thank you. Oh, it's so soft. So I've got six skeins. That's enough. Look at this. Oh, my. Oh. <laughs> okay. Wow. Hey, Elizabeth, how you doing? Look at what Kim sent me. I'm going to make an afghan for my granddaughter, Olivia, my newest grandchild. I don't, I haven't crocheted for 40 plus years. And Samantha Vernon, Elizabeth, you may remember Samantha Vernon from Reading Rivalry and from some of the other uh, challenges we do. Samantha says that she knows the stitches. So I'm going to get together with Samantha and I am going to make an afghan. Now, I already have an afghan kit coming, but I think what I will do is if I can get some help from Samantha, I want to work on this first. Really? Elizabeth's sister says this is the best yarn. Kim, you got me the best yarn. I don't know anything about yarn. I just know that I want, I love you too, Kim. I just know that I wanted to crochet last winter and I never did. And now we're in, uh, in November and I'm, I was determined to crochet this winter. So I joined a crochet club just yesterday. And then Kim, this comes today from Kim. Heart, my heart is, my heart is, is bursting open. Then she also gave me these sparkle bubble pops, which I don't. Do I have, I have some, they're over there. I think, I don't think I have these. No, I do have some really, really bright pens, but I don't have these, but I do now. Whoops, I left one in the box. Look at these gel pens with refills, guys. 
with refills. And I have some really pretty gel pens, but not this brand. And I wanted this. As a matter of fact, it might even be on my um, Amazon wish list. I'm not even sure. So thank you, Kim. Well, guys, that took less than 10 minutes. Should I stay on for a while? What do you guys want to do? Okay, to refill these, you have to, okay, do these from the bottom. Oh, the gold, wait, let me, let me take a look at the gold. Oh, that is a pretty one. That is gorgeous. Um, just want to get some paper. She says that the package says it can work on both white and dark paper. So I've got a drawing pad right here. I was hoping I had some black paper on my desk, but let's just test this, these pens out. Yeah, I'm going to try it right now, Jess. This marker pad came with my Le Mache, uh markers. I can't draw. Oh my gosh, look at that gold. Let's bring the camera down. Look at this gold, guys. This is going to look so good in the coloring books. Look at that. That's gorgeous. I do not have these, guys. I wanted these. Let's look at all the colors. Let's look at the purple. Oh my goodness gracious. It says that one pen, two colors. That's amazing. Jess, of course it didn't come out bossy. Girl, I love you, sweetheart. Anything you tell me to do, I'm going to do because it's good advice. This one wants to skip a little bit, so let's tap it down, get some of this ink down. So that's a blue. Now, it might be um, skipping because if it's two colors, it might be trying to go into the next color. Let's look at all of, oh, a silver. Let's see what the silver looks like. You're so welcome, Jess. Oh, my goodness. You know, guys, I like to use um, the, these paints. I don't know if I can get to them because my cart is jam-packed very, very sloppily. And these pens are going to be easier to manage. Nope, I can't get to my paints. I wanted to show you my paints, but I, these pens are going to be better, way better than me trying to handle a paintbrush. Speaking of paintbrush, I did get my paint by number today for the company Opal Berry. I did do a video, but I have to upload it. Oh, my goodness. That is so juicy. Look at that. Oh, my word. Kim, thank you so much. Oh, you sent them to Jess, too. That is so sweet, Kim. I, now I have to look at all the colors, guys. I can't um, draw, so I'm just making squares. Look at this. These are gorgeous, Kim. Thank you so much. I did not expect these. I did not expect these. Okay, my favorite color is coming up, guys. Green. These are so shiny. Oh, my word. Now I've got to find a book and use these, Kim. And my last color is an orange or, yeah, it's an orange. Wow. Guys, I want to grab some black paper because it says it works on black paper as well. So bear with me for one minute while I get some black paper. Okay, I found a pad. I found a pad that has black paper, so let's just test them really quickly on the black paper. Here's a black sheet right here. I want to see how the gold looks like, what the gold looks like on here. Look at that. It works on colored paper, too. I did uh, squares on the other one, so I'm doing small circles. 
some of the darker colors aren't coming out, but that's okay because it says that it, it, it okay. Look at that. This looks black on white paper, but it looks red on black paper. Go figure. Let's see what the red looks like on the black paper. I wish I knew how to draw. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Oh, yes, that's right. The Three Musketeers is right. Look at the silver on this black paper, guys. Samantha, you didn't know that when you came to my first, the first stream of mine that you've come to, that you're going to uh, teach me how to crochet a baby afghan, huh? Guys, I was looking at bags today, crochet bags, where I can put my yarn in a bag and loop it through a hole so that the yarn is safe from my cats because I have curious cats. So I guess now I have to buy the bag since I have the yarn. Oh, look at that. That looks yellow on this paper, guys. The orange looks yellow on black. And the green. Let's see what the green looks like. Okay, so the green gives me kind of like an aqua look. Did we try the purple? If not, I'm going to try it again because I don't think I tried the purple. I think I might have missed one color. Let's see. Oh, yes, it comes out blue. That's why I didn't think I tried it. Isn't it something that on the black paper it comes out one color and on the white paper it comes out another color? That's pretty cool. Thank you so much, Kim. They do look good on black paper, um, Kat. They really, really do. Yes, Sam. You know what, Samantha? I would love it if you would look because there's a, there's so many of them on Amazon. Um, I, I need a bag that, that will allow the yarn to go through that I can close the bag and my cats cannot mess with it. So if you can look that up for me, Samantha, I would really appreciate it. So that's everything. Oh, thank you so much, Kim. I'm going to, for right now, put the yarn back in the box, but I am going to get a bag out of my bedroom to put this yarn in because I don't want it to get dirty. I love it. Um, Sam's going to help me. And Samantha, what size crochet hook would I want for an afghan? I would imagine a J or a K maybe. So I've got a, I, I know that I'm going to get a hook with the crochet club that I joined. But um, you are watching YouTube on sewing a yarn. Okay. Yeah, that's what I want. Some kind of a basket. I'm uh, Not a basket. Some kind of a bag. I've seen them on Amazon. Um, I actually I saw one on Instagram and I didn't buy it and I wish I did. Okay, thank you, Samantha. So yeah, Samantha, if you could recommend what size crochet hook and what kind of bag, I'll buy them today and maybe get them on Monday. And start my blanket. So that means I'll be doing two Afghans. I'll be doing a baby blanket with this and I'll be doing an Afghan with the one from the company. Just trying to stay in, in stream. Wow, so that's it guys. I just wanted to do this unboxing on camera because Kim told me that she was sending me the pencils and then she warned me that it was a big box. And I'm like, uh, the pencils could fit in an Amazon envelope. So I was really ecstatic to see what was in the box. But like I said, I had some issues that I was dealing with before I was able to do the unboxing, you know, with not feeling well and with feeling emotionally uh, drained right now. I get an issue that's draining me. So for right now, I guess that's it. Um, I should put something in front of me um, so that you have something to look at until I log off, give me a second. Just give me a second, okay. What I let, I just wanted to have something on my desk so that you're not just looking at a map. Um, because of back pain, sorry, I hit the camera again. I was working in my recliner 
with this lap table on this diamond painting that Fashan is also doing. And I think Fashan's here, I'm not sure if she is. Thank you, thank you, Kim. I appreciate that so much. And so I, I don't remember what, oh, I think I was listening to an, a book on text-to-speech and I fell asleep. So this is where I left off this afternoon, right here. And I, no, it looks like I did some of that up there. So hopefully by, by the end of today, I, I'll get this whole top row done. And then tomorrow I can work my way down. I know you guys are here. I'm a little stressed out to open my messages though, guys. I'm really, really stressed out to open my messages, but I got to open them. So um, does anybody use watercolor pencils? And if so, what book do you recommend I practice these in? I may not open them, Kim. Cat. Or Jess, you got, and Kim, you you have another set of these Artezas. What book do you use these in? Not that you can see them. They're right here. Make them straight. Yes, I want today to be more enjoyable. I want to get back to my diamond painting. I'm listening, reading, I don't know where my Kindle Fire is, but I, I have a very good book going. It's called his accidental Amish family. Amish or Christian fiction is one of my favorite genres because I read a lot of psychological thrillers and I read a lot of crime fiction. So when I read an Amish fiction book, it's always a sweet story. So it's a way to be like really stressed out when you're reading and then relax, stressed out and then relax. So I chose a relaxing story for today. Okay, print on my own paper in any hardcover books, in Kirby Rosanis' books. Okay, okay. All right, guys, I'm gonna try it because <laughs> I'm so nervous to use water, but I will try it. Maybe even this evening, after I finish the top part of, now I'll go back over here. After I finish this top part of this painting, maybe I will work on one of Kirby's books. Guys, would, um. Watercolor pencils work on two-sided paper or should I use a single-sided book? Oh, you are, Jess. You have your talent. And I do have paper. I have, I think, 110-pound um, cardstock, Jess. So I, I can print. Hi, Groon. Welcome to my stream. Very nice to see you. I'm glad I'm still here. I've seen you on a lot of live streams. I didn't even know that you subscribed to my channel. So welcome. I was doing this impromptu stream as um, an unboxing of a wonderful, wonderful gift that I got from Kim T. And it included yarn so that I can make my newest granddaughter a blanket. And I'm just, I'm, I'm so excited. I don't know what to do tonight. Okay, I could diamond paint tonight. I could get in touch with Samantha and figure out how to crochet or I can color. What do I, or plus I'm working on the jigsaw puzzle. Long as it's cotton based or mostly blended. Okay, that's good to know. That's good to know. And Kat says it depends on how much water. A damp brush, double sided is okay. And if I use, okay, so I'll try to have a light touch cat in um, just because. All but one of my Kirby Rosanna's books are double-sided. Only Wonder Morphia is single-sided. Everything else is double-sided. Yes, it will wrinkle. I, I have seen that, Jess. Guys, you know what I bought today, uh, yesterday? It came, I bought it a couple days ago and it came yesterday. I bought these um, clear clear uh cutting boards and they were huge they were like 12 by 12. so i cut them this one will go in a, a regular hardcover coloring book and the yellow one will go in like one of the kirby rosannis or johanna bassford books so i do have something that will protect the backs of paper yes yes definitely by all means yes 
I know. I love how you say ahoy, groon. That is so cool, cat. Go right ahead, Jess. I'm curious now because I don't know how to watercolor. I do have um, I do have ink tents, and I have done a couple pages in um, a Johanna Bassford book, but only uh, two pages. I wish I could remember what, not Johanna Bassford, Hannah Carlson. I wish I could remember which one I did, and I'd show you, but I don't remember. Watercoloring can be stressful, but it's not at all. Okay, so basically I need to make sure I'm relaxed and I'm not asking too much. I'm just reaching back trying to get some water, guys. Give me a second, please. I take medication for my thyroid and then psych medication for my psych issues. I'm not sure if it's the thyroid med or the psych meds, but something makes me very, 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 very thirsty all the time. Okay, so I'll be careful with how much water I use. And watercolor can be lifted off. I do remember one thing about ink tents, just that you cannot lift ink tents, but it's good to know that watercolor can be lifted off. I didn't know that. So I've got these already. So now I just have to... Uh, be bold enough to to grab a book and to give it a shot and have a paper towel ready okay so listen guys while we're here i wanted to say that i was thinking about taking one of my planners and trying to plan these activities and i'm going to lift lift them i want to use a water pen jess and they should be next to me but i had to move them because my grandson kept messing with them so I had to put them up out of reach and they're not they're not right next to me right now. This is what I need my planner for, guys. Diamond painting, coloring, jigsaw puzzles, now paint by number, crocheting, reading, and blogging. You know, I have to write book reviews. I'm a professional book reviewer. How in the world am I going to do everything? in a single day. Jess, let me show you my water brushes. I'm just going to get up and get them. Give me one second, guys. Let me get up and get them. Like I said, I, I was keeping them on the desk, but my little grandson decided that he wanted to check them out. Okay, for some weird reason, I'm only pulling three out. So this makes me wonder if Demetrius got a chance to run off with some before I move them. Um, I have this set. I think this is Ohuhu. And it was a set of six. And I don't know where the other three are. But like I said, Demetrius was meddling with my tray. And so I just have to, a lot of my stuff ends up in his toy bin in the next room. So they're probably in there, but this is a set of six. This is the, uh, oh, okay. So these are the big ones. I have, oh, I know where they are. I'm blaming it on Demetrius, guys. I'm sorry, Demetrius. Nana, sorry. I got them. I got them right here, Jess. Let me show you. I was using my, um... Neo Color 2. So the stuff that I was using, I left on my desk in a bin. And so I have this size, these sizes. Wait, let me get into camera. There we go, Jess. These are the sizes I have. I forgot that I moved them. I have one more small one. So these will work pretty good, right, Jess? Okay, so let me read these comments because I really want to sort out my hobbies. Um, coloring on Sunday, diamond painting on Mondays, and so on. 
Don't worry about the schedule. See, Kat, I have to read Kat's comment when she says, don't worry about doing it all every day. Set aside a day for each for something. Um, Kat, the reason I read your comment in full was because just thinking about doing all of my hobbies is stressful in and of itself. Just thinking about it. So doing them makes it so that I don't do them, if that makes any sense. Um, and yes, Kim's right. If it's me, I have OCD. I need a schedule. Okay, put my hand under the pens. Sure, Jess. Let me do that right now, hon. Let me get all six of them from this kit. I saw this on someone's channel, and I bought them while, while in the middle of the live stream. So I'm not going to show the big ones. Let's put my hand under. There you go. Those are the three small ones, which the one in the middle is bigger. And then the three big ones. And I think these are Ohuhu, which I can't even imagine needing these. Let me get these right. I can't even imagine needing these three here, to be to be quite honest with you. I, I can't imagine. Um, meanwhile, Jess, while I'm here, I can show you that I do have paintbrushes, by the way which I haven't even opened yet. So let's, uh, let's open these and then you can tell me if you think I should use paintbrushes. How can I open this package? I'm just trying to see if all of these paintbrushes are the same size or not. I bought these for my paint by number. Okay, these these are all different size, Jess. So what do you think, Jess? Can you see any of these tips? Or do you need me to take them out of the bags? I just wait a moment. The big fat ones work for backgrounds, Kat. Thank you for letting me know. And Jess says the more water, the lighter the pigment, and okay, smaller for detail. Okay. So guys, I have these new paint brushes and I have the water brushes. So I've got two types of brushes that I can work with. Oh, that's a good question. I don't know. Um, it just says fine detail paintbrush. Jess, I'm going to have to go online to the website. I mean, to Amazon to find out if they're hair or synthetic. They look synthetic, Kat. I don't need, to be honest, I just bought these. Kat, you remember why I bought these, right, Kat? When when uh, Shell was showing the the um when Shell was showing this opal berry, which I do have a video that I have to upload. See this opal berry? Remember, Kat? When w yes, when Shell was showing this paint paint by number, I bought I bought the I bought the uh, paint brushes. And Kat, while you're here, look what else I bought. I'm going to unplug it. I got, I can barely show you this. See, Kat, I got the magnifier glass. And it has, when I plug it in, it has three lamps. It's as heavy as can be, I'll tell you that much. So I have to give Kat credit for the brushes and for that magnifier. See, you guys are all good for me one way or another. Okay, um, you want the paintbrushes up to the screen, um, Jess? Yep, let me get them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call you guys out, okay? I'm gonna call Jess, Kim, Prashawn, and Shalene out for being really, really good friends and keeping me from being depressed. I'm gonna call Kat out for her unbelievable creativity. I'm going to call Samantha out because we do so many things in common. We read, we do jigsaw puzzles, we diamond paint, and now she's going to help me crochet. So there you go. Anybody that I'm leaving out, please forgive me. I'll get to know you, and I'll call you out at another time. Let's get these as closely as close as I can get, and I'll keep them here. And nope, you don't want my hand. How is that? Is that any better, Jess? Learning with a paintbrush is a best practice. Okay. 
So, so Jess, I was watching a video on watercolor and it said to have a jar for clean water and a jar to rinse and a paper towel. Is that what you would recommend? Oh, you want the hand behind? Okay. You got it. You ask, ask and you shall receive. There we go. Now, um, um, Kat thinks that these are might be synthetic. Should I look? What was the other one? Synthetic or what now? Synthetic or... I can't find the other one. Never not do that. It's going to depend on what book. Should I look for a different type of brush, Jess or Cat, or you think these this brand these brushes might get something done? But will they be will they work if they are synthetic brushes, Jess? As far as you know, because I. Honestly, I don't even know the other term. I don't know if it was human or synthetic because I never even, I can't find the comment. So I, I had no idea what to look for. Pick out your book. Okay. I'm going to be so nervous. You know what I might do, Jess? I might just pick out a page and make a copy of it and practice. And then after I feel comfortable with with it, then go to the coloring book for whatever page I printed. I'm, I might practice that way. So those of you with multiple hobbies, how do you decide what to do? Let's get me out of the frame. We don't, you don't need to see me. Yeah. <laughs> how do you guys choose what to do or do you just go with how you feel? I'm not a, I'm not a pantser. Remember we talked about one of my streams about plotters versus pantsers. A plotter is somebody who plans everything out to the finest detail and a pantser is somebody who just goes with a whim. I'm definitely a, a plotter. I plan. I'm I'm ecstatic that people like Jess and Kat and Kim know how to watercolor. I'm ecstatic that somebody like Samantha knows how to crochet, you know, I mean, it's just exciting. And the fact that Kim would buy me yarn for my granddaughter is just beyond touching. You have a hundred things going on behind the scenes and you only film coloring book stuff, Jess. Yeah, I know you're a busy girl, Jess. When you color, you listen to podcasts, reading, Jess, read. You know what, Elizabeth, I've been kind of depressed, so I've just been reading. Actually, one day I chose to read, which I think was Thursday, and I read four books. I read like 1,200 pages in one day by reading, not listening. I read much faster than any text-to-speech or any audible book. I read much faster, but I would prefer to multitask. Elizabeth, like, if I'm diamond painting and I'm not on the phone or video chat with one of my friends, I will... Um, have a text to speech on or an audiobook. Hey Grace, welcome. I know you were live, Grace, but I'm feeling kind of crummy today and I had to do an unboxing. I just needed to get it done because the longer I waited to do it, the more I did not want to do it. So that's why I had to go live. This diamond painting, um, Grace Frashan also has this. So she's working on it at the same time. So we're doing it together. Grace, I was talking about taking on some new hobbies, um, not just diamond painting or coloring or jigsaw puzzles, but now paint by number and crocheting and all along keeping my reading stats up. I think I have read 587 books this year so far, guys, so I'm still reading every day. Kat just goes with her mood, but she changes if you get frustrated or tired of it. And same with Jess. Okay. See, here's what my problem is, guys. And this is why I haven't colored in almost two weeks. I made a mistake in a Kirby, not in a Kirby, in a Tim Jeff's book. 
I made a mistake in that book and it, and it just really took my, it took, it took, it created a fear in me, which took my joy away. Yeah. I don't want to burn out. You're right about that. Jess. Yes. Please give me, give me a thumbs up guys. If you, if you wouldn't mind, I would appreciate it. You guys are so great for being here. You have no idea. You know, this was a impromptu Saturday stream. Even Tony looked at me like I was crazy because he knows I generally stream on the days he goes to work. So he walked in here and he gave me a funny look and he quietly shut the door because he's like, what are you streaming for? But I'll tell him later. You know what, Jess? I've always been hard on myself. Always. Yes, unboxings are a lot of fun, Grace. I even unboxed a paint by number for Opal Berry. Um, okay, my battery has 10%, so I'm good for another 10 minutes or 15 minutes. Nothing can always be good. You know what nothing is for me, Jess, which nothing is really a lot, is the more stressed I am, the more I read. So I'll give you an example. Thursday was a horrible day for me emotionally, so I read four books. So that's my nothing. My nothing is, is burying myself in books. Yes, yes, we do have to work hard on that. But you know what? I kind of have an advantage. I have you guys tapping me on my shoulder, telling me to slow down or to take it easy. Oh, your internet was down, Grace? I didn't know that, hon. And your cable. Wow. Wow. So was that a community thing um, or something in your building, Grace, that caused you to lose your internet and your cable? That's a bummer. Or was it weather-related, maybe? I'm getting some more water. Oh, it was a community thing. Okay, so that had to be really annoying for everybody. Yeah, um, Jess, I don't intend to crochet on stream. That's going to be something I do in my recliner while listening to a book, for example. Paint by number. Maybe I'll do some of that on camera since it's for a company that asked me to do it. Coloring, I think is I'm going to do on my own. I don't feel comfortable doing that on camera. So yeah, so some things are gonna be just for me. Um, um, and speaking of things being for me, Jess, is I'm also in the book community and a lot of book booktubers do vlogging. And as much time as I spend in my recliner, I could vlog, but I, I don't even, feel comfortable for that. So reading, coloring, and crocheting will be all mine. Things for me. So what is everybody doing for the rest of the night? It's pretty early. It's only 4.45 my time, which... You guys have anything planned for the rest of your evenings or are you going to be going to make dinner or have you already made your dinners? You're right, Jess and um, Kat. Jess says it sounds easier and, and, Je and Kat saying that we need me things. It's so funny you say that, Kat, because I imagine myself crocheting in my recliner with a book on, not on the phone with any of my friends, not on video chat with any of my friends, and just enjoying a hobby I haven't done in four decades. And Kat, you're young, so you don't even know what four decades is. I'm almost 60, so that you're right. Me things, that's right. Are you watching Biden later at 8, Grace? Kat's going to call it tonight. Hey, Nick, how you doing? This is an impromptu stream. I wanted to unbox some beautiful things that I got from Kim. Jess needs to fix her nails. Jess, I am not into my nails. You see what you see when you see me. Whatever my hands look like is what they look like. Hey, Jean, how are you? Hi, Grandma. Jean is a new Nana. She has a new grandson. 
I know she's as happy as can be, tired but happy. Um, Kim said she sent me what she's working on, so if I could find my phone, that would be nice, but I have no idea where my phone is, guys. Kim, I don't know if I can... I told you that I was a little discombobulated. Okay, my phone's charging over here. I'm very, very organized, but because I moved my exit center to my recliner, I haven't set my office up the way that I want it. So that's why I honestly didn't know what my phone was just now. Okay, so it looks like I have something from Elizabeth and something from Kim. So let's, I pulled Elizabeth up first. So let's look at Elizabeth. Just did this from Floral Fairies. That's very, very pretty, Elizabeth. Great job on the skin and on the wings. And let's see what Kim sent me. Ooh, look at what Kim's working on. Let's get wait till oh my goodness. Great job. Look at the see you see how you did the highlight in the hat. That's that's why I want to do some practice coloring because I don't want to do straight coloring. Beautiful job, Kim. What book is this, Kim? These elves. And Jess is also Jess is working on a buddy with Kim. Yes, I would love to see it, Jess. Very welcome, um, Elizabeth. Very, very welcome. I'll wait to get Jess's picture real quick. I'm um, still, oh, Mythomorphia. Okay, so I got Jess's picture. Okay, oh, you guys. I, and you know what? As many Kirby Rosanna's books as I have, I do not have Mythomorphia. Okay, guys, I'm going to say something right now that I didn't want to have to say, but I did just listen to the messages. There's a little chaos going on because I was calling somebody by her channel name and not by her first name. And I've just been grossly insulted by two messages telling me to stop harassing people and to keep people's names out of my mouth when all I'm trying to do is fix what I broke. And I'm not going to try to fix what I broke anymore. This channel that I have here, Robin Loves Reading and All the Things, is representative of my book blog and now my other hobbies. And I want to have joy in what I'm doing. And I don't want someone to have such dislike for me that I get these random messages or I get accused of harassing people. And I'm, I'm not trying to do that. And you know, it, it, it hurts. It hurts a lot. And I'll probably cry after I'm done with this video. But, you know, I shouldn't have listened to those messages. But when I went to Instagram to check Kim's and Jess's pictures, I said, let's listen. And now I'm unhappy that I did. You know, I, I'm, I, I just want to do right, guys. I want to do right. You know, I, I, you know, everybody is not going to love everybody in this community or in any community. As a matter of fact, anytime you have more than two people, you have the potential for drama. It, it happens because we're imperfect. Uh, we were not born into this world in a perfect body and in a, with a perfect mind. So we make mistakes and we try to fix mistakes. But when you try to fix a mistake and people accuse you of harassing them or referring to them in the process of trying to fix something, it gets exhausting. It gets exhausting and it creates unnecessary drama. You know, I tried to be polite and it hurts and it just, it just hurts. Let me look at Jess's picture. She says she used ink tents. That's really, really good. 
Ink Tense is a really good product. I love Ink Tense. Yes. Yes, Kim. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right, Kim. I have good friends. Thank you for saying that, Jess, um, Kat, and Nick, you know, and I been trying not to bring it up publicly. I really, 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 really did not want to bring it up publicly, but it, it's already out there. It's already out there that I'm a bad person. It's already out there. So I'm acknowledging it right now. You know, so anyway, I'm going to keep my spirits up by finish listening to that book I mentioned earlier, um, His Unexpected Amish Family, and I'm going to work on my diamond painting tonight. I'm going to deal with this back pain that I'm experiencing, and I'm going to deal with this depression that I'm dealing with. I'm going to deal with it all tonight. Thank you, Jean. Thank you, Nick. And, and Kat, thank you all of you guys. Yes, Jess. Thank you, thank you. Guys, um, last night when I streamed, um, Cindy Lee's husband came to the stream and um, so I just want to remind you guys to keep Cindy Lee in your prayers, if you could. Thank you so much, Jess. Well, you know what, um, Jean, I, thank you for saying that. Um, I'm dealing with stuff in my personal life, you know, that's aside from the internet. And so it kind of made me off balance and I aggravated somebody and all of a sudden I'm public enemy number one. And I just, I don't appreciate that position. You know, it's hard for me to have a chemical imbalance in my brain because I get triggered. And when I get triggered, I think I, sometimes I act before I speak and, and it, it comes back to bite me in the behind. Bye Grace. Bye Grace. Thank you. I have to remember that, Jess. I have to remember that. Yeah. Depression is not easy. Having bipolar disorder is not easy. Um, I sure will, Samantha. Thank you, hon. Thank you. I'm getting, I'm trying to find um, Sam's message. Hopefully it's about the crochet bag because I do want to order that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I want my yarn bag to close. Being able to talk about it helps, yeah. Well, the, the thing about, about it without mentioning any names, because I'm not big on mentioning names, is, you know, somebody does something wrong and they try to fix it and you try to fix it and you get accused of being a bully. And no matter how many times and how many ways I apologize for a minor infraction, I'm still being accused of being a bully and I don't like it. I don't like it at all. And the thing is, I've been bullied before in the coloring community, so I would never want anybody to have that kind of feeling coming from me. You know, I think I would be the last person to bully anybody, but it's clear somebody doesn't like me and it's uh, people are getting on that bandwagon and I don't like it. I just don't like it. And, and Kim told me not to listen to the messages and to keep everything positive today, but I stuck my earbud in and I listened to the messages and it almost threw me into tears. But, you know, all I can say is that I am going to try to be the best person that I can be. And 
whether somebody forgives me or not is on them because my relationship was with God first before any human being. And if I can pray to God for his forgiveness, then that means I can be forgiving towards others. If others choose not to be forgiving towards me, then it really is on them. It really is on them. Thank you, Jean. And because of this, a couple of people unsubscribed from my channel, but blessedly, I got new subscribers, so it balanced out right away. Within within a day, the people that chose to unsubscribe, other people subscribed. So I, I guess I should be happy about that. And I'm the kind of person who does one of two things. On the one hand, I will bury things to the point where I, I develop night terrors because I allow the stress to get to me. On the other hand, I try to deal with it face forward. And my way of trying to deal with this face forward is accepting the blame, accepting the responsibilities and being apologetic. And that didn't work. And I'm not being allowed to be a, a, a decent person. I don't know, Jess, I don't know. Coloring, diamond painting, reading, paint by number, jigsaw puzzles. You think my jigsaw puzzles want me to fight? I'll have pieces all over my office. Yeah, I have to work on that, um, Jess, I mean, Jean, talking about things instead of bottling them up. And I'll be honest with you guys, I, I went two days without sleep because of this. Um, but last night I made up for it. After my live stream last night, yeah, I know, me and my jigsaw puzzle pieces. <laughs> But after my live stream last night, I sat in my recliner and I woke up at 1.45 in the morning. So I made up for some of that sleep that I lost. <laughs> hey, I, I had to lighten the mood, Jean. I, I don't want you guys to go away worrying about me, you know? But I will tell you something funny about my jigsaw puzzles. Um, Ariana's at her boyfriend's. And speaking of Ariana, they got an apartment and she's moving out December 1st. So I probably won't see much of them over the next couple of weeks until they move out. But when Demetrius sits in my office, every puzzle piece that I put in, he takes out. So we make a zero for zero progress on my jigsaw puzzle. But I let him do it because he it makes him happy. And he asked to do my puzzle. He always asks if he can work on it. When we color, we're seven, but we don't want to act like it. That's right, Jess. Okay, Groon. Okay, I like Groon. He says he struggles um, not to act three. That's funny. Thanks for the laugh, guys. I appreciate that. All right, it's been about an hour, guys. I thought I would only be on for 15 minutes. And I think I might have mentioned when I started that I was only going to be on until my iPad died because I've got it plugged in and it's not charging and I'm down to 3%. So it's time for me to wrap it up. And I'm going to put my stuff back on the other side of my office and sit in my recliner and um, put, I'm going to put my book back on and I'm going to work on this diamond painting so that Fashan doesn't pass me by. Yes, Jess. I'm going to try, Jess. Jess is such a fantastic cheerleader. All you guys are great. You guys are great. Thank you, Jean. Thank you, Groon. Yes, I should be. I'll definitely be back on Tuesday. But if I'm up to it after my meeting tomorrow around 1230, I'll try. But don't count on me for Sundays. But I, I will try for tomorrow. So you guys have a great night. Um, I don't want to be talking while the while the while um, my device dies. But I want to thank everybody for joining. I want to thank you for your support. And Kim, 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 thank you for such beautiful gifts. And Samantha, thank you for any help and advice you're going to give me for crocheting. Uh, Jess, thank you for any help and advice you've been giving me about um, water coloring, you know, pe coloring with watercolor pencils. And I want to thank everybody. Everybody, thank you for coming. And I will be back with more. Love to everybody. Really, really, really love. And, and please, 
please, please pray for Cindy Lee, okay? Love you guys. Bye-bye.